In this question, we're doing p of x minus 2q of x. So we're doing subtraction of polynomials and we're also multiplying one of the polynomials by a constant. Once again, though, this is fairly straightforward to do. We just have to write it out as it is and then go through the expanding and simplifying steps. So like I did before, I'm going to put brackets and this time you should hopefully see that the brackets are going to end up being uh, used. So it's a good practice to get into. So I'm just replacing the q of x and the p of x with what they are in our definitions up here. All right, and now as you can see, this two will be expanding into the bracket. So that's why we wrote the brackets there. And actually the negative two, not just the two, um, is gonna expand in. So let's write that out. So um, this one can be written out just as it is. Now, minus two times x squared is minus two x squared. Minus two times three x is minus six x. Good, and now all we have to do is group our like terms again. We have x cubed, we have plus two x squared minus two x squared, so actually no more x squared terms. We have minus x minus six x, so that's minus seven x, and then the plus five. Okay, so pretty easy. We just have to remember to have the brackets and when you're expanding, you have to be careful with your signs. Um, 